I want to really find out how much the Nissan Z really weighs. Just for context, the base model with the manual weighs in just shy of 3,500, which is 3,486. Then if you wanted to add the nine speed transmission, it, I believe it goes up 64 pounds. So it comes out to like 3,555, I think. And then it's said that this performance spec, which comes with the Akibonos, larger wheels, wider wheels, has leather heated seats, has the nine inch display. This one here specifically comes with a premium carpeting, so that weighs even more. So this one should weigh, it should be one of the heaviest. Now I still have all the books and everything that came with the car, everything inside of here. So it's gonna give you the true numbers of what this car actually weighs on the street. Very eager to know what it truly weighs. I really hope it comes shy of 3,600 because 3,600 truly is a lot of weight. I don't think it'll be an issue, you know, losing weight on this car. Each of these seats are probably like 50 pounds each, so that's easy to remove. You could do, you know, a lithium battery. I normally race on a quarter tank of fuel, which I'm gonna test this at a quarter tank of fuel. There might be some lighter tire options. I'd be interested to know how much these wheels weigh. So that's probably gonna be the next video that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these wheels off and test them. See, see how much they truly weigh. Either way, let's head over to the weigh station. First weigh everyone. Hi, I like to weigh. Is this your first time? Yes. I think your vehicle is too small. It's too small. Well, I'm just trying to get the weight of the vehicle. Because it's too small. Okay. Because it's too small for our scale. Okay, I, I mean, I've done it on the highway, but okay. Thanks. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Alrighty. Hopefully, they help me out here. Some people are just by the book. The last lady told me the car is too small. Like, it's a scale. It's gonna freaking weigh it. Hi. I, I was just talking to you inside about weighing. Hi, so this is going to be a first weight. All right, I'm asking you what's your truck number and what do you want me to put it under? It's just a vehicle. Okay, what's your name? Chris. Chris, I got you. All right, thank you. You see, some people just don't want to work. <laughs> I need to ring up. I'm going to swap those out. How you pay it, Chris? Just cart. Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a good one. We like to have so I got the weight. All right, so let's just go over this again. This car is the premium spec. It comes with Akibono brakes, has the larger wheels, which technically have wider tires. It has the LSD, it has the nine inch screen over the eight inch screen from the base model. It has heated and leather seats. Not that this stuff weighs that much. I have my camera equipment, but I also have premium carpeted uh, mats for the cabin and the hatch, all right? This is at a quarter tank of fuel and it came in at 3540. All right, so let's run some numbers really quick, right? We got the base starting point of 3540, which personally, I think it's an okay number. Um, if you were to be at a full tank, it would probably net you the 3,600 pounds, but this is uh, at a quarter tank right now. So that's basically what we normally race in. So let's just start throwing some numbers up in the air. Let's say we replace those two seats for race seats. Just actually delete one and use one race seat. You could probably save another 100 pounds. That'll put you at 3440. Um, you can move up to the front uh, lithium battery. You could probably drop another 40, 45 pounds. Let's just say 40 just to even out the numbers you'll be at 3,400 pounds, okay? Now, we could do uh, two-piece rotors. That should net you probably 10 pounds each corner, maybe. Now, we're at 3,400, so let's drop the exhaust and do open downpipes. That will net you probably another 50 pounds, so you're at 3,350. Removing the carpeting, all the heavier carpeting, the subwoofer, maybe, uh, probably the subwoofer in the back doesn't weigh much. But I would say just like the random interior pieces that you might want to throw out that could probably net you another 20 pounds. So you're at 30, where was I? I think we were at 3380 right now. What? Okay. Maybe with a 
lightweight drive shaft. You let me know what do you think is an acceptable weight for a coupe like this. I really like to know. I, and I honestly think 3,300 pounds is somewhere around the 3,300 pounds is definitely respectable for this car. So I think that's where it should be. And I think that's where I'm heading. Those are most of the bolt on stuff that we can do. Now, if you want to do body panels, I would say the hatch. I mean, I don't know about the hatch. I'm just throwing out numbers, but between the hatch, let's say the fenders and the carbon doors, if you were to do that, I would say you probably save about, I don't know, 80 pounds. That's still pretty good. That'll probably drop you into the 3200s, high 3200s. And that, that's crazy. I mean, I like the way the future looks with this Z. There's a lot of potential with this platform. And I truly believe that it's a much better car to mod if you're trying to go faster than the Q. I do love the Q, I still own it. At the end of the day, to me, it's more of a luxury car. And this has much more support in the aftermarket. And 3,300 pounds is where I'm heading and that's what I like. So let's give it a shot. I'll catch you guys in the next one.